Hi guys, have you ever wondered how to make a chatbot using Angular and Node.js? Well look no further because in this video I'm going to be covering how to make a chatbot using Angular, Node.js and Dialogflow. Having a chatbot is very beneficial these days because they guarantee 24-7 availability, they're 100% reliable and they have extraordinary machine learning capabilities. So here's a demo of the application we'll be building in this tutorial series. And it's an app, a chatbot interface. And if we type in a message such as hi, it shows a message fetch from the Dialogflow conversational API. And if we type a more complex query, such as what are your open hours, it gives a list of open hours. Uh, it says, who are you? It says, I'm chatbot, okay? So now let's uh, finish our conversation by saying you're great. Thanks, I try. <laughs> so it, it, that's how uh, this chatbot is used. All these messages are used from, uh, fetched from the Google Dialogflow API and the front end is uh, run by Angular. So what we'll, we'll need certain technologies before we begin uh, coding this project. And those technologies are going to be Angular, uh, Node.js, and Express.js. And we'll also need Dialogflow from Google. So before we begin this project, uh, make sure to have Angular and Node.js installed, preferably Angular 8 or higher, and Node.js 12 or higher. Uh, in order to use Dialogflow, you'll have to have a Google Cloud Platform project. So if you don't already have one, uh, all you have to do is go to the Google Cloud Platform dashboard, click on that icon, and then click on this button you see here called New Project. Fill out, give it a project name, and then press Create to create a Google uh, Cloud Platform project. And uh, that's going to be it for the prerequisites. So as this is just an introductory video, I'm going to end this video here. But make sure to follow me as I set up the dialog flow implementation in the next video of this series. So thanks again for watching my video and uh, make sure to like and subscribe if you found this video helpful. And feel free to leave a comment below if you have any questions or criticisms and I'll see you in the next video.